So here's a brief little tutorial on how you can make like some kind of bookmark uh, using Tinkercad. So first you wanna click in your Tinkercad and drag a box over to the screen. What you wanna do is you wanna change the size of this box. So you can click on one of the bottom corners and I can change the size by actually dragging or I can click on these numbers and I can type in a number. So what I want you to do is on that bottom number, I want you to type 50 and on this other number, you double click on it to select it, and I want to type 150, and I hit enter. And that's going to give me a little kind of bookmark type of shape. Now, I don't want my bookmark to be too tall, so I can hold down the right mouse button, and as I hold down that right mouse button and move around, I can rotate this screen. So I can see this little uh, rectangle from all sorts of different perspectives. Now that's one way that I can rotate my screen around. I can also use this box up here. This box, if I click on the front, it'll show me the front. If I click on this kind of upper uh, kind of edge, it'll kind of rotate it around. I can click on the corner. I can click on the side. I can see it from all these different perspectives. So what I want you to do is move this box around, and I want you to click on the left so we can see the left-hand side. And what you should do now you should take this uh, height, so that take this kind of white square that's in the middle there. I want you to shrink that down. And we want to make that pretty small. We want to make that about two millimeters. So this is the base of my bookmark. And what I can do with this bookmark now is I can start decorating it with all sorts of different shapes. So let's say I want to put a little heart on my bookmark. I can take this little heart and I can drag it in and I can put it on top of my bookmark. I use my right mouse button to kind of move around. I can also use this box up here to move around. And I can look at it from the side, and I can look at it from the left, and I can see kind of what it looks like. If you have a little wheel on your mouse, you can zoom in, and you can zoom out. And what you typically want to do with these shapes is you want to shrink them down a little bit. So again, I can click on my shape, so click on my little heart, and that brings up this box. This box I can use to change the size. This top square, top little white square, I can use that to change the height. So I can make it taller or shorter. And then if I use this box to move around to look at it from the top, I can use these squares and I can make it smaller, bigger, and kind of give it whatever shape I want. So I can put a little heart on my um, bookmark. I could put a little star on my bookmark. I could just drag that in. I look at it from the side. That star seems really tall. So I can come up to this white box and I can, I can shrink down the star a little bit. I can use the right mouse button to move around so I can see it from the top. And maybe I want to make this star a little bit smaller. And maybe I want multiple stars. So I can take this star, and if I hit uh, Command-C on a Mac or Shift-C on a PC, that'll copy this. And what I can do is then I can then paste it if I hit Command-V, and that'll make another star. The other way you can do this, I can just click, and if I come up here to the top, I have the option to copy and then I can click to paste. I also have the option to just duplicate. And if I duplicate, that'll make a copy right on top of it. And then I can move it around. So I can make a whole bunch of stars. Maybe I can make a constellation on my little bookmark. So here we have a couple stars. I'm gonna paste another star in here. And I'm gonna make a constellation uh, on my bookmark. So I want to see this from the top, kind of move my little stars around until I'm going to get the constellation that I'm trying to make. So I am making a constellation that's called Orion right now. Orion the hunter uh, floats around in the winter sky. And it's well known because Orion has these three stars in a row to make its belt. I have his legs. 
Mm -hmm. That's how I can make a little constellation bookmark with a little heart on top. I'm going to make sure that you don't have little bits sticking out of the side. So see how that star is sticking out a little bit? I can take it, I can click on it, and I can I can drag it up a little bit. If I want to move things, I can also use the arrow keys. So I can move it up and down with the arrow. So I'm hitting the down arrow key to move this down. I can hit the up arrow key to move it up. Okay. And I can put whatever shapes I want. The other thing I can do, if I want a special shape that doesn't exist, I can try to make it. So let's say I want to put a little house onto my uh, bookmark. I can take a box and I can drag it over. I can change the size of that by clicking on these white squares. If I click on one and hold the mouse button down, I can drag it down and shrink it. I can click on this top square and I can make it a little bit shorter. Then I can take a roof, and I can actually put a roof on top of this house. So I drag a roof over, and I kind of covered up the whole shape. So I want to move this roof up a little bit. The way I can do that is this uh, black arrow. If I click and hold on that black arrow, I can drag this to make it taller or shorter. And then I can shrink my roof. I can change the size of it to whatever I want. And I can move it all around. And I can click this little black arrow, I can move it up a little bit, and then I have a little house. So I can adjust this, I can use the arrows, or I can use the mouse, however I want, until I get the shape that I want. There we go, I've got a little house. Now what I want to do is I want to take this house and I want to move it and put it on my bookmark. So I can click on the roof, and I can hold down the shift key and click on the little house, and that'll select both of them. Or the easier way is if I hold down the left mouse button and I drag so that I highlight both of those shapes. So I've got both shapes selected, and I can come up here to the upper right and I can click on group, and that'll make those both into one shape. So now I can take that one shape, my little house, and I can drag it onto my bookmark. There we go. Maybe I want the house to be a little bit taller, so I can <coughs> excuse me, drag it up a little bit. I can drag it down. And the thing you want to be careful of and make sure, if you move it up, you don't want it to be above the bookmark. So I can see that if I click and view this from the right. So right now my house is floating above the bookmark. I need to actually connect it. So to do that, I click on this black arrow and I drag it down so that I'm actually inside of that little bookmark shape. Okay, so now I have my heart, house, uh, star, bookmark, all the things that you can add onto this. I can put text in. So I can put my name there. My name is Eric. And I can shrink this down so that it'll fit on my bookmark. I can drag this up maybe the top of it and I can use the right mouse button to zoom around and maybe that's a little bit tall for a bookmark so I want to shrink it down so I can shrink it down to make it shorter maybe that heart's a little bit too tall I can shrink it down maybe that house I want it kind of in the middle uh, maybe one of these stars I want to get rid of so I can click on the star and I can just hit delete and that gets rid of the star then maybe I didn't like that change. I don't, oh, I, I want that star back. So I can come up here to the upper left-hand corner, and I can click Undo, and then that star pops back. All right, I'm pretty happy with this bookmark, so I want to actually print this now. So I, again, use the mouse. I kind of get an overhead view of all this. Make sure that I'm zoomed out enough that I can see the whole bookmark. And I click on the little mouse and hold down the left mouse button and I get this dotted box and I highlight everything that's in my design and I come up here to group and click group and that's going to group them all together so that this is all actually printable now. And what I can do with this is I can click export the selected shape and click on STL and that's going to make a, a file that I can then actually print. 
So this is the file that you can send to me, and then I can 3D print it for you. Hopefully that helps a little bit. Uh, let me know if not.